you know, one of the things I find young entrepreneurs and, and podcasters really struggle with is that feeling of imposter syndrome. And, and oh, yeah. especially when you're starting out, everybody's, it, there's no end to the people that tell you you're doing the wrong thing or you're on the wrong path or no, you can't cut my lawn, kid, get out of here. <laughs> right. How did, how did 100%. you, and, and I actually read through this in Tim Ferriss is the four hour work week. I thought that was one of the mm-hmm. really important concepts of getting comfortable with discomfort. How do you, how do you, how do and how did you handle that, Jeff? How do you handle getting past all those no's and all those doubters? Yeah. I mean, I think well, my brother and I love Kanye West and we love one of his main lyrics is he says, I never take advice from people less successful than me. So I think that's number one <laughs> that we, we live by, because I would say a lot, you tend to get a ton of advice from people who are not working as hard or trying as hard or being, or even going out on a limb. Right. And then the people that are much more successful than you, you know, you just got to surround yourself with the people that even if they do say no, generally the smart ones will tell you, Hey, I could be full of shit. I could be totally wrong here, but this is what I would do. Mm-hmm. And they're never telling you necessarily. No, they're usually saying, this is what I would do. I could be completely wrong. And, and I think those are the people you got to surround yourself with because generally when in our experience, those are the ones that are incredibly successful and, and probably the goal that most people are trying to get to in their lives and their career. hundred percent. I love that, that thought Jeff about, Look at the people who are actually telling you no. Look at those quote unquote influences that are telling you it's a bad mm-hmm. idea. Where are they at? Exactly. You got to take all of their experience into account and say like, do I want to be like that person? Or do I want to be like the person that, you know, started $2 billion companies in, in one lifetime. And that was one of the reasons we ended up raising from the fund that we really respected called NFX. And NFX was James Courier, Pete Flint, E.B. Wise, like Morgan Beller, people that have really just, I mean, Pete Flint started True, which was only one of his multi-billion dollar businesses he started. And James is effectively the early inventor of a lot of social media in the late 90s, early 2000s, and you know, has worked ever since as a product person. And the reason I bring that up is because generally you're getting these this advice and this feedback from people who are just completely not related to the thing you're working on. And so you have to take that into account for sure. Thanks for watching Mark Savant Media here. We're going to help you create a better content in less time and turn that attention into income. If you love this video, you're going to love these videos here. Click the one, me and my team specially selected this just for you. Click the link, check out the video. I'll catch you here next time on Mark Savant Media. Peace.